Hey everybody, welcome back to the old deer hunters. Look what I have today. It's the new Pulsar Axion 2 XG35 laser range finding binocular. This new laser range finding binocular from Pulsar, the Axion 2 model, has a brand new core and it's a 640 by 480 12 micron core and a magnification range from two and a half to 10 power. I've got to hunt with this thing for a uh, about a month or so, and I tell you, it's it's really a nice binocular. It's got so many features in it that you know when you go out there with anything else, you feel like you've you've left something at home. <laughs> I've used it coyote hunting, hog hunting, and deer hunting, and let me tell you, this this thing works really well. Everything about it is is class. You know, you just pick it up and you can just feel the the, the great quality of it. And what makes it special? Is that not only does it have the, the 640 resolution now, you can get the laser range finding built right in. It's integrated right into the Axion body. So all you have to do is when you're out there on the stand, you want to you want to see how far Mr. Coyote or Mr. Hog is out there. You just press this little button right here. You can put it up there to the middle screen, click it. The little box will come up. You can get an instant reading or what I prefer to do, since usually I'm up there on the stand for coyotes, is I like to just put this thing in scan mode. All you have to do is just press the button, hold it for a few seconds, and it goes into scan mode. That way it stays on all the time. Because it's so light, I use it with a lanyard. This particular lanyard also has a power supply on it, so if you run out of power, and which is unlikely because this thing is going to last seven hours, you can just plug it right in and keep on going for the rest of the night. But let me tell you, I, it's, it's funny how you go out there and you, and you see new products and you wonder, if, is it really any better than the last one? Well, this one is. First of all, I mean, adding this laser range fire on the side of it, you know, it's only what, three or four ounces. And it only, it only weighed eight ounces to begin with. So if less than a pound, you have a 640 thermal monocular plus a laser range finder. And this laser range finder works out to like a thousand yards. So, when you first get out to a stand, you know, you get out there and you uh, can range all the different obstacles out there, like how far is it across the field, you know, how far is it out there to that first tree, and, you know, before a coyote ever shows up, you know, you, you have some reference of, you know, how far away they are, and then when he does show up, you just tag him with that laser one time, and, and you've got him zeroed in there. You know exactly when he's in range. To either you know turn the call off, turn the call on, or when he's close enough for you to take a shot. Everyone has a <laughs> an idea of where they want that coyote to be. You know, for me, I like to get him into at least 100 yards. For Doug, you know, if he likes to get him in close. If they hang up out there at 300 yards, he just you know tags him with that 243, and chances <laughs> are he's going to be more successful at 200, 300 yards than I will be at 100. But uh, we do manage to stack up a few coyotes. But this little rangefinder, it falls right in between, as far as image quality and the price, by the way, the image quality is somewhere in between the XQ series and the Helion XP50. It's not nearly as good as an XP50, but it is better than the XQ series, especially on clear nights. Now, on, on the high humidity nights you know it's it's got a little noise on the screen but when you're out on a clear night it does a really good job not only do i use this when i'm coyote hunting or hog hunting i use it when i'm deer hunting now this last week i spent a week in mississippi and we were going out to places i've never been before so you really don't know how far it is you know across an open field some of those fields you think a deer might be 200 yards and he maybe end up being 300 yards it's really hard to tell Big open fields, sometimes the shots are close, sometimes the shots are far away. So it was really good to have this monocular. So when I got on a stand, you know, I could see, well, how far is it down the end of that food plot? You know, it looks like, you know, maybe 100 to 150 yards. You pick it up, it's 250. Well, gee, <laughs> I need that deer to be a little bit closer, you know, than 250 yards for me to be comfortable. I'm sure a lot of your sharpshooters out there can pick one off at 300 yards. But, you know, I'm not really comfortable. So it's good to have this. Uh, monocular not only to range them 
but to also find them. I remember the first night on stand when I was in Mississippi that the deer didn't really come out to the food plots until about 5 o'clock. And we've got about 30 minutes of hunting time left before it's dark. So at 5 o'clock, you know, I could see deer moving around back in the, in the back or something moving around back there. But when you pick up this thermal, you can see that it, if it's a deer or whatever, at the 200 yards, I mean, you can take this little... You can take this little monocular and at 200 yards you can tell exactly if it's a coyote or if it's a deer. I was actually looking at some does and all of a sudden, about 225 yards, this huge deer walks out. I mean, it was just obvious right from the get-go, hey, this is a big buck. <laughs> and so I was really glad that I, I had this. And no, I didn't get the buck. He came out of the food plot, you know, turned away from me and walked in the woods and I never saw him again. But it's really good, you know, when you're deer hunting to have one of these. And most thermal monoculars, you know, are, are pretty big. Like my Helion is, is a little bit bigger than this, a lot heavier than this. And if I'm going deer hunting, I no longer have to take a rangefinder and a monocular. The only thing I have to take is just Axion 2 with a laser rangefinder. I've got my thermal monocular that can look through those, you know, dark trees and, and find uh, a deer. And I've also got that rangefinder, so when you use it, all the way back to the back of the field, I can arrange him and see how far he is. But having a laser range finder monocular is really, really handy. Uh, you're going you're to find more than just one use for it. You'll, you'll find a lot of uses for it. And uh, this, this monocular is not cheap. It's $3,500. The XQ35 is $2,500. And then the XP50 Helion is $4,000. So this fits right in the middle. Whether you get one with a laser range finder or not, uh, it, it, it's right in the middle between those uh, lower grade 384 models and the top of the line Helion XP50 Pro. So is it absolutely necessary to have this laser range finder? Maybe not for you. And if that's true, you can get the same monocular without this range finder for $500 less. You'll get an excellent scanner with a very good image and it'll be a little bit smaller, a little bit easier to carry and it'll save you $500. I think any of the Pulsar products uh, you're going to be happy with because they all the fit, the finish is great. They all work really well. They have a three-year warranty and they also have service after the warranty uh, expires that they'll still, you know, help you uh, repair this if you should break it. So thanks a lot for stopping by. Come back and see us again.